So grade 12, uh, this is now where I have completed my two designs. So this is one, and I've got another one. Just say hypothetically, I've got another one, and it's all colored in. And now I need to just check. Um, the only thing that I can't fit in on here is my carport, because I don't have space for my carport. Okay, so what I would suggest is that all you do is you take a blank sheet of paper and you just draw a carport and you know that each block here, each block here is uh, 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter. So I would just faintly design a carport. Um, so my carport is going to be starting here uh, 4 by 5 meters. Um, so we're going to have 4 meters like this here and it's 4 meters is 4,000 so that's 1 meter 2 3 4 meters so we remember we said 2 blocks is 1 meter 1 meter 2 3 4 so alright and then I'm going to draw a line like that um, just to make it nice and straight um, draw a line like that and then I'm gonna have my five meters here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to close it up like that, there, and I'm going to close it up like that, there, as well, and now I'm going to put in my carport uh, freehand, like that, there, is my carport. I'm just drawing it very roughly, but you see, obviously. So I actually want a double line, one millimeter apart, like that. One millimeter apart, like that. And a double line there, and a double line there. Right. This is going to be attached to my my house, my veranda, and then I've got. Um, either my pillars here on the inside which the framework is going to be attached to so it's this is the same as the wall it's a four four millimeters by four millimeters like that there okay and of course you can color that in as well um, with the red because it's uh, brickwork so you're going to color that in as well there and then what I would suggest you do is that um, you have here um, across here one millimeter spacings of wood a meter apart so you take it on the meter markings there like that there so you can have your carport that's going to be your design of your carport please make it nice and straight and neat like that there Okay, and your, your carport uh, is going to obviously run down the slope like that. The sheeting will then be put on here. That's going to be your sheeting. That's going to be your sheeting will run like that on the. So you can have that and then uh, just print here for me also carport neatly. And then uh, the scale of um, 1 is to. 50. So that's going to be your carport there. You can make it very nice. So what's going to happen is that carport is going to be attached here. So this page you can just add to your drawing. Right? So let's assume the carport is finished. Now you're going to check your drawing and you're going to take your your um, basically your rubric and you're going to ask a certain questions here. Um, if I could just zoom in on the questions which I'm going to ask. I'll see now if I can zoom in. Um, okay, zoom in. So now if I zoom in and I ask myself the question, are all the building features including the veranda and the carport avail uh, showing on the on the drawing? So I can tick yes. Correct presentation of the building features, so all the features and fixtures of the bathroom and those type of things, according to SANS, uh, it's there, so I can say yes, this is how you check. Um, that's fixtures and presentation of features, both correct. 
the presentation of this uh, fixtures according to sands that's all uh, correct you know the bathroom it's not like the electronic components and then you have uh, your your size and proportions of the features uh, is it according to the sizes yes it is um, is it uh, do you have the primary and uh, labels um, there's the primary labels you know silo and what's on the floor finish and do you have the primary dimensions so all I need to do perhaps here is to put in the dimensions so um, I can either keep it two this away like that let me just decrease it so you can put in your dimensions like that uh, your dimensions is going to be um, yeah, this is going to be 14 meters, which is 14,000, neatly printed. And you can put the dimensions on the side here as well, uh, where you have that there. It is going to be 10 meters. So you're going to print the 10 meters there. Um, and if you want to have individual dimensions, you can do that as well, of the ver various rooms. Uh, like that as well. So if that room is maybe five meters, you can have the five meters. And if this section here is four meters, you can have the four meters there, four thousand. And so you can have the dimension. So that's in. And then the design functionality and utilization of space. I will have a look at that. How you used the space. Um, so then you must choose one of the two. So if you have chosen one of the two, um, and then you can basically just go back to your main computer aspect, which is going to be this here, and where you now evaluate each one in this block here, give them a, a four, three, two, or one, and then you will add it up here, and the scores will determine which one you're going to choose, and there you're going to write me a paragraph based on the reasons why you select that specific uh, design okay um, and you type for me a nice paragraph here you will see on the the um, sample that I seen that uh, um, this provision made for a paragraph which I'm going to read and you motivate why you are actually choosing one specific so you're going to start off by saying I choose Design two because and you're going to continue why and you can make a reference to the specifications and the reasons why you're not choosing number one. Okay, so that's very important that you do that. And then uh, once you have completed that process and you finalize the computerized section, um, you take the design that you've chosen so hypothetically if this is my design that I'm that I am going to choose or which I have chosen I'm now going to use a blank sheet of paper um, to come up and redraw all of this to um, perfect size and this time I'm going to add all of this including my electrical symbols you don't need to have electrical symbols here but you need to have electrical symbols on your your final design and to just give you an indication um, so I will have this as my final design redrawn with all my dimensions on the side here and here and all my labels and, and uh, um, descriptions which I have on my drawing even my area calculation as well um, so that is what you need to do next. Um, let's take it that far. And you can see here, uh, my carport is here. It might not even uh, fit in on here. So it's fine if you don't have it on this drawing here. Uh, and you only have the house. We are going to draw this separately on a page as well, like we did with our designs. I hope it helps. There will be more videos coming with regard to the elevations we I'm going to view this from the front uh, or should I say here from the front here my north elevation 
and a view from the side here from my silo the silo side okay enjoy um, please if you like this video please uh, subscribe and uh, don't forget to put on your notification thanks so much and enjoy